With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Three tight ends of the ball game here on first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they can also make plays himself as we just saw there. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. And the return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one. And let him know he'll be back the very next. Shedding the tackle and gives him some room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Buying time to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now here's Mahomes. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Flushed out right. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. Mahomes going to go on fourth down, eluding the pressure right. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Throw right side, taken in by Collins. And he takes this down to about the 2 before going out of bounds. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? And Mahomes is going to keep it. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawks touchdown. From three yards out. And the Seahawks are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Groupie able to add the PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. They're on 17-yard line. 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. A short little throw taken in by Reed. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. That is caught, and he is going to have a Ravens first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and five. Here's a toss play right to Moster. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On third down, Jackson. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. They're going to try and throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A big pick up there, 20 yards as they convert on fourth. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. Henry running right. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, they go again with Henry. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. He was tackled at the 27. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Jackson. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. It's fourth down. 
Fourth down, here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Jackson going to change things up a bit. Henry. Not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. A loss of two there. Second down. A loss of two brings up second and goal at the Seahawks. They'll give Henry another shot. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Derrick Henry. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. There's still time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Now Mahomes. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first down, Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. The ball comes out, and this will get out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. So fortunately, they're able to hold on to the possession. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Mahomes. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how his first half will come to an end. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry-up. 
They keep it with Henry on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. He's brought down at the 15 yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw, sliding out of the pocket. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Mahomes takes it himself. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Patrick Mahomes scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Seahawks have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And the point after, good by Groupie. And that makes the score 14-7. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. And in our meeting with the special teams coordinator, we asked him, what's your, what's your philosophy on bringing the ball out? Do you give him a red light? Do you keep him in? Green light, let him go? Uh, let, let's see if he... Trying for Ayuk, but it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Charles, as a defender yourself who made a few of those plays back in your day, I know you know there's no better feeling than a pick six for a defender. And the big thing is when you take it and you realize you're out there and you've got a great chance to score, not to get overexcited and have one of the yard lines trip you up or the turf monster, as we used to call it, knock you down before you get to the end zone. That didn't happen on that play. He carried it home. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They begin with Henry. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And now they're in the hurry up. They go play fake. Mahomes rolling to his right. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. It's a big play there for Seattle. And even 50 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Nico Collins from 17 yards out and the Seahawks have taken the lead groupie for the extra point it's up and good and that'll make the score 21 14 The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, Brian, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. First down. First down. They'll try the right side with Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. They go back to the ground, this time Moster. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to let the play clock, because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. Second down, goal to go. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Jordan Reed from three yards out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And a fair catch taken. No time will come off the clock. And they will begin this critical drive at the 25-yard line. 
This is first and ten. Attack, attack. 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 Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Ravens are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, he exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them and don't have enough confidence? Derrick Henry on the own. And he takes it all the way down to the three. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Now first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And that's a touchdown as they broke it our time here in the final minute. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Tucker with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Mahomes. To Henry. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save the timeout. Mahomes will throw. He's got Derrick Henry again. Back-to-back -back catches. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Mahomes, they'll roll him out right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's second down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So they'll accept that penalty, and that will, of course, move the football up the field. Second down, eight yards to go. Mahomes. This one left side caught by Collins. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. Here we go. First and goal. Mahomes. Flush to his right. This ball intercepted. Picked off by Deion Sanders. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. 
What a change in his ball game in the fourth quarter, Charles. They just completely took over, and not only did they get the lead, they end up winning somewhat comfortably. And when we spent time talking with them before the game, they made sure that we knew that they thought that they were the better team in this one, and they never lost that thought or lost that focus, and they played like it in the fourth quarter. That's how you offer a late comeback.